Today's video is brought to you by the Tennessee District Attorney's General Conference Information Systems IT Training Department. Today's video is about how to extract audio from VOB video files. And I guess a different way to put this is, are you ever given a DVD disc um, from a various agency? And what you're wanting, basically the, the video information on that disc could be anything as it relates to a case. But you are wanting to maybe transcribe the information. So instead of looking at a video and trying to work everything out, you would really just like to get the audio extracted from that video so that you could use that in your transcription software. Ever come across that? That's what today's video is about. There's going to be a few programs involved and we will get into that and a few other things but we just want to make this as simple as possible because it's a just a simple little process once you have everything set up. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're seeing here, you may be given a disc that uh, you would have inserted into your DVD drive. And if you double click some of these files, you may see that it actually opens up and you've got video. Okay. Now, what you're wanting to do, you don't need the video. You want to get the audio and the sound that's currently recorded on this out of here as well as uh, alleviate some of the space that it's currently using. In this case, what we're going to do, the first thing is going to use a program called Handbrake. Now what this program will do, and you will need this installed on your computer, as well as Audacity. We'll be pulling that up next. But Handbrake, it will take the video that you have and convert it into an mp4 format and from that mp4 format the other program that we're going to be using audacity it will be able to extract that audio and put it into a WAV format so you have just an audio file only okay so the way that you use this program when you open it up you're going to want to click on the source button. That's going to take you to where your current video is stored. In our case, this is on a hard disk. And in your case, it could be that, or you may have it on disk. If you do have it on disk, you'll notice that it should be listed here, such as your D drive or your DVD drive. In this case, we've got it stored on the hard disk, and it is a single file. So we're going to click on the file open a single video file option when we do that I previously went into this folder it was on the desktop called VOB to MP4 to WAV the video that we're wanting is VTS 011 so you just highlight that or double click and then you can click open you didn't see much of anything happen, but right here, the size and the source, it populated with the information that it did find. Okay, good. Now we've got the output settings taken care of in this example. Now, what we've got to do is select a destination for when it takes that video, converts it into an MP4. Where's it going to put it? So there, what we want to do is click on the browse button over to the right here and we previously opened this up if you wanted to take it to your desktop you could do that we're going to keep it in this VOB to mp4 to WAV folder we're just going to call this test01 the save type it's in mp4 or mkv we're going to keep it as mp4 and click save Looks like we got our settings right. Looks like the video is 27 minutes long. It does have some additional information that it picked up. So let's go ahead and click start. This will take a few minutes to rendition, go through everything. And we're going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come right back. Okay, the video has 
convert it into mp4 so we just went from a vob file let me change this just so you can see that the video that we did have changed from a dot vob file it is now we do have a video file an mp4 video file this is the one that we just made which was called test 01 okay good now let's move right along here now we have the file converted so that the next program that we're going to be using called audacity will be able to take that mp4 file and convert it into a wav file in this case so let's go ahead open audacity up this is the audacity program a lot you can do with this in this video we're going to go ahead click on the toolbar and click file we're going to go down to import and even though this is a video file we're going to go ahead and select audio click on that we previously used this program to get into this folder we find the file that we just converted to mp4 just single click that or you can double click it single clicked it I'm going to click open what it will do is it will import the files and you will also need a, an additional install plugin uh, called an FFmpeg in order for this to convert the video into audio now we do have the audio available you can see that it has detected the audio in the different variances of sound you'll see here you certainly want to go ahead and click on the play button make sure that that you do have audio that you can hear it coming through your speakers or your headphones and you'll also see that over here to the right you've got your volume list and it will actually show you the the uh, the volume meter so as you can see that everything looks good and it's working we'll go ahead and click on stop and in this case just go ahead click here in the gray area if you had anything say if you had taken it to a different level here I would actually select all of it and we're going to go back up to file and we're going to export audio once we click on that we're going to stay right back in the same folder if you want to take it to your desktop your libraries or another folder simply do so and I'll show you real quick here the options you have to actually convert this to you could also change it to an mp3 file or a variety of other files as well WMA certain other files that may be of interest to you in this case we're going to keep it as a WAV file and click Save now it opens up this edit metadata field or option and this is if you want your file to go uh, give any type of additional information to the file that the metadata could be searched or you could view that within that uh, the specific audio file that we're looking at they give uh, recognition to the artist or track title genre or comments in this case we're just gonna keep it as it is click OK You'll see that it goes through this fairly quick and if we check the folder where we sent it to behind the background here looks like it we do now have a WAV file so the file type is WAV file file name was test01 and it will play we will open it up with VLC media player you could of course use Windows media player if you want to and Appears that we are running and working good. If there were any errors, VLC Media Player is usually pretty good about displaying any errors that you have. So, just to run through again what we've done here is basically you were given a DVD disc 
something that you are wanting to extract the audio specifically for maybe transcription or maybe you just wanted to hear the audio and not watch the video along with it so we took a large file we converted it using the handbrake program after running through clicking on the source and sending it to this folder back here we actually compressed and reduced the size of it quite dramatically and after we have the video all we did was we opened up audacity we imported the information then once it compiled it here then we went right back up and then we exported the audio in this case it was a WAV format and you can see here that test 01 which was converted today it is now a WAV file and it does play in the background I think that wraps up the information for today's lesson once again this was how to extract audio from VOB video files if you have any additional uh, comments questions or needs please contact the service desk anytime and that can be reached online via one of your web browsers at servicedesk.tndagc.org once again this video is provided by the Tennessee District Attorney's General Conference Information Systems IT Training Department thank you very much have a great day